Hello. Hello. It says we're live now. I missed a few days of the daily yawn. I've been um, trying to get back to it again. And uh, I was just thinking about one of my practices um, for moving through the day is to take an index card and um, and then choose a colored pencil that whose color calls out to me. And I will write on the card in cursive um, present possibilities. And then underneath that, I will write out um, different things, focuses for the day, sometimes tasks, sometimes places I might go to or things I have scheduled. Um, and for each of the things I put down, uh, the way that I format it is I'll put like a little spiral next to it instead of like a checkbox or something or a bullet point. I like to put a spiral because uh, sometimes I need to go around a few times to get to, to completing a task. And I feel like spiral gives me more permission to have space for my process to unfold. And then after the item, I put um, parts for how many steps maybe it might take to complete the task. Like if, say for example, uh, today I went and got some groceries and so I considered that, oh, I can't really see that. I don't know if it's bad. Let's probably be backwards. I don't know if it's backwards for you. Um, looks like it says sausages from here. Oh, anyway, okay. <laughs> so I put two hearts after groceries um, cause like one heart for going to get the groceries and another heart for putting away the groceries. Um, whereas like for getting my mail, I have another heart that I haven't completed cause I needed to also like sort it and put it away at some point. Um, but anyway, I just like wrote this out right now. Some days I'll start the day off by writing out the things. Other days I just fill it in after the fact. Kind of like how people do with their like bullet journal, perhaps. But I like to just have it on a card. And then and I used to keep these in a basket because I felt like I didn't really have a sense of what I had done before. Um, and also in boxes. But now I just recycle them after the day. Because I figure I'm okay with like forgetting the things. And I've kept a few just so that I would have like the format to remember, to something to jog my memory for the format. Um, Cause say, for example, this week I, I had a chronic illness flare and um, which for me involves physical pain, but it also involves like the next day um, feelings of like, uh, like a lot of depression and even like uh, maybe like hopelessness um, and uh, and also being through going through the pain it kind of throws off my um, my daily habits and when I don't do the daily habits like each day I find that it's harder to do them again the following day. Like I'll believe, I'll find myself believing that I I can't remember if, if I can really do that task or maybe I don't believe whether I can do the task. Like if I can cook the fish sticks because I don't remember when the last time was that I cooked fish sticks and, it, and it's like, it's just, it's like there's just a disconnect in from one thought to that thought like there's just something severed this like hopelessness severed the severing of that that which seems to come up for me particularly when i have chronic illness flares um so that's really interesting to observe i've actually been um 
not having the chronic illness flares very much or just been having them mildly for the last month and a half since I began using or working with um, uh, topical, topical medicine for the skin that uh, is being studied for inflammation, for its effects on inflammation and how it impacts mast cells. So it was really interesting that I, I ran out of this topical medicine that I had and then I had a really uh, significant chronic illness flare from doing from getting a massage and not treating myself with the medicine before and afterwards like in an abundant in an abundant way like I would just be very generous with applying it all over my skin um so um, I feel very grateful to have gotten to realize that that medicine has been having a significant impact on my wellness. I'm also curious about what I might do in the future. And it also I'm reminded about how incredibly difficult it is to have like these chronic illness flares. I'm gonna blow my nose when I'm having, having allergies. Like, not only the initial symptoms themselves, but, like, the wave of depression and hopelessness that comes afterwards was really, it was a nice reminder for me about just how difficult, well, maybe the last 12 years have been for me with having these symptoms and how much I was having to mask, like, to pretend that I wasn't. Uh, feeling so, so lost, um, but at the same time feeling very guided by the universe, spirit, whatever we want to call it, that um, arises for me when I am deep in, in my illness that really arises and I rely on that as my guide. And I also rely on processes like this, like the present possibilities, which is a process practice that I had forgotten about for the last few days and just been feeling like, I don't know how, how the fuck am I going to figure out how to get through like the day and, and needing to remember like, oh, I need to have music. I need have the lights, like the sensory things that really make a difference for me, especially when I'm in a, a more vulnerable um, uh, state of like experiencing a feeling like mental illness or a, a depression, all that. So um, I'm going to remember to turn on some music when I turn this off. And um, if you've been watching, thanks for watching. Yeah, hope that maybe something uh, resonated with you in this video. Oh, and uh, one more thing I forgot to mention is that on the Players and Possibilities sheet, like I also, I don't just write things to do, but I'll make like affirmations for myself as well. Like the first thing I wrote today was be gentle with self and regressing is a valid part of the journey. And I just wrote out the word backflows. Sometimes the water goes backwards and then comes around again. And there can be learning at those points and observations, uh, messages that arise in the movement, the way that, that nature moves the way that we naturally move our natural rhythms. So just giving, allowing permission for that. Um, and I also wrote on here, I deserve to eat food and put a bunch of hearts so I can fill those in throughout the day in case I forget. Um, uh, Cause I definitely needed to do a lot of, a lot of support 
um, when I was in this in this flare, like with with getting prepared food, and which I forgot about that, so I ended up thinking I would be cooking and then not being able to do that, uh, partly because of the mental blocks with needing to have like all my regular foods in the fridge and the feeling like I need to see the abundance, to touch the abundance, to really believe that it's there. So now I have more options available that are easy, that are prepared in the fridge, and also I have my regular foods and from the brands that I'm used to, so they used to their touch, their texture, and their smell, how long they how their light their liveness, how long they will stay good before spoiling. Um, Cause that was another thing that I didn't realize during my chronic illness flare that some milk I had in the fridge had gone bad and so then I drank some coffee with it and then I had like a stomach ache and just needed to go and rest instead of getting to work that day. I just worked on my wellness. That's that's how we work. So um, yeah, things don't always flow the way that we expect them to, and that's all right because we we can make a forecast. But the weather is going to come the way the weather comes. And I find, sorry, I'm like tossing my tissues as I'm, I'm, I just got some more raw local honey to help with like with my allergies I've been having with some of the wild flowers, the brittle bush. The brittle bush are calling out to me to learn about their medicine. Their flowers are like, hey, they're just calling out to me right now. So. I'll be meeting with them soon, and I forgot what I was talking about. Gosh, I really can't talk about random things for a while. It'd be cool if I had, like, keywords to come back to, but I'm just kind of random sometimes, so that's how we're just going to start this. We'll just see if we can keep coming back to it regularly. I'm going to encourage myself to do that. Anyway, I don't remember what I was talking about before, 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 but I hope you have a great day and shift, shift towards wellness, towards the well, the overflowing well, just a little bit, just the tiniest micro movement towards it, especially if you're watching this and you're feeling real deep in illness. Maybe just the tiniest possibility, open the tiniest bit to the possibility that the seasons may shift again. I do enjoy, and I enjoy talking like this and seeing myself and yawning to myself as well as to potential future humans watching or whatever, however you define your creation. All right, until next time, many blessings. I feel grateful for your existence.